Holy shit. Whoa. I'm going to speak to us, you guys. I'm shocked. At the same time, I, I knew this was coming. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Vincent Wolf 70 here, and yeah, you know what to do. Um, okay, so first, okay, first of all, I did not think I was gonna be able to see this movie this week because you know tickets sell out and you know things like that. But um, but luckily, I did get the chance to, and I made it just in time, and I actually made it to made it just I actually made it to a good spot on the seat. Uh, I made it to the. Um, all the way in the back row where there's like that one seat right there just itself luckily it was right there and it was good so um oh yeah by the way uh it's the uh 10 year anniversary of iron man so you may want to watch that sometime soon okay infinity war um i was speechless at that I am shocked, but at the same time, I knew, I kind of predicted this after, predicted some of these things, even like after um, Age of Ultron, and um, I even like, I mean, even before, even before Infinity War was announced, like I, I kind of figured because you're, we're sad with, uh, I, I'm trying to be careful with the spoilers here, this is going to be a uh, non-spoiler part it's gonna, it's gonna be quick because I don't really have much to say um so I watched um I'm trying, I'm trying to think so I watched reviews and I listened to both parts where people did who disliked it and then who liked it and you know it's it's tough I can't really give this movie a high praise for it but it's not a bad movie I I personally loved it I enjoyed it um, I love the fact that they went with a dark theme to it and and I I think this maybe this just maybe be my favorite uh, MCU film like this is actually a Marvel film that I will probably buy once it comes out on DVD like, I mean, I don't know. It's just just the way it was done, you know. You know it, and I think by now, probably you probably won't. See, this probably won't be the first review you'll see. But you know, if you see other, if you see other uh, YouTube channels, they'll they'll probably say like it's basically Thanos the movie, and pretty much it is. It it really is, and um. In some ways, yeah, you can really you can see Thanos' point of view on things. You can understand his motivations and and all that. Um, yeah, and then you got a you got a large cast of char in large cast, and you got a whole huge huge char huge set of characters you got to focus on. Um, but overall, I I enjoyed it and. I'm gonna have to give this movie a B minus, and that is where I'll explain why in the A. I mean in the um, spoiler review. So in the spoiler, so um, that's gonna pretty much do it. So, because like I said, I'm just gonna keep the spo non-spoiler review simple, and that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so overall, I give this movie a B minus. I loved it. This is already my favorite MCU film, and I'm probably gonna buy it on DVD. So, and yeah, that's gonna do it. So now on to the spoiler review. All right, guys, here we go now with the spoilers. So, um, I will say, um, well, you know what? Let me point out the things why I give this movie a B minus. Which pretty much is going to be with the spoilers. Uh, first of all is... I didn't like... The way Thanos looked. He looked too human. Uh, he, I don't know. I think 
from the first Avengers movie when he showed up in the end at the end and um I thought he looked perfect the way he was just maybe smoothing out the face and uh, but unfortunately when they went to Guardians of the Galaxy we see Thanos again I thought that was it I thought that was perfect but I guess as we went as we as the movies progressed on I guess they somehow wanted to change him but overall I did not like the face of Thanos I Thanos I don't well, I don't. I just wasn't a fan of the whole that facial appearance. I don't. Know, I just preferred the Avengers, the first Avengers look, or the Guardians of the Galaxy, because it looked similar to the comics. I I like that. But um, another one was you somehow had Thor, Thor's battle axe being able to pierce uh, Th Thanos laser beam when he had all the six stones. But I guess they. But if you want to go take a different way then fine I guess um, I don't I think that may be it those are good those are like one of the two flaws that I can only remember for now um, yeah yeah that's pretty much it oh and then another logical one was probably the fact that you had well, this one's been used numerous times. It was just that you had that part where Mantis had uh, fuck, uh, Thanos in a in an unconscious thing where he's all all like out of it. Well, I don't want to say he's out of it, but he's all calmed down. And next, you know, Star Lord's beating him after finding out that Gamora's dead. Um, that part, I mean, that that kind of idea has been used numerous times and. So, but those are the those are the ones I can think of for now. So that's why I give this movie a B minus, or just a B in general. Um. So, anyways, uh, the to be honest, I didn't want uh Thanos minions. I don't know if they're called the Black Order or something like that. But uh, those those four members, I didn't want them to die personally. I wanted them to keep living. If I had to pick one. If I had to pick one, I would prefer, uh, I would prefer, um, that goblin dude. Because, I don't, I don't know, and uh, he didn't seem to offer anything to me, but, uh, or that female character, I, I don't know, but I, I, it's one of those two, or mainly the goblin I would have picked that to get killed off in this movie. I, I, and the rest could just live, because I thought these, these three, or these... Well, yeah, because I, I thought the other three, they had something unique about them. Especially the big guy and that, um, the, the, I don't know what his name, but the guy who does all the magic. I mean, who had Doctor Strange up in that, who tied up Doctor Strange with all those metal pipes. Um, oh, you know what? I just, re I just re realized something. I remember one other reason. We didn't see Hulk. And what bothers me is that the fact that you put the, the the trailer showed Hulk right there running with Captain America, Black Panther, and everybody else, but then yet we see Hulk um, right there in the trailer. And another thing too was I thought Hulk was gonna burst out, you know, when Mark Ruff, when Mark was well, Bruce was screaming out for Hulk to come out and screaming, shouting no and. Things like that when the uh, when the Iron Hulk Buster uh, got over got overwhelmed by all those creatures, but at the door came okay, so we didn't see that. But when we saw the big guy coming after uh, the Hulk Buster, I thought okay, this is it, this is it. This, we're gonna see we're gonna see Hulk come back and come out, and no, and I was like wow, okay, so one arm huh? just put that on to the put that on the big guy and let him shoot up and get blown up, and I just. Didn't like it. The only way I can agree with this idea is the fact that in the beginning Hulk gets gets his ass kicked by Thanos, so so I'm gonna assume that he's probably afraid of Thanos. That's that's the only way I could probably give it an, ex an excuse. So that that's that's pretty much it. Um. So I don't really have much to say that I'm just giving out my thoughts and why I give this movie a B minus another one well 
I said, well, my predict. Okay, so the whole thing. With, well, if you watch my Venom thoughts on the Venom trailer, so I guess that didn't work. It didn't happen. So, so nothing come through space, and we'd see the symbiote. But no. Uh, so I guess Venom is this Venom is having his own little different origin, I guess. Um, I don't. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just okay. So we get to the ending. I, I'm gonna say the ending, the song ending, kind of got me depressed as a fan. But at the same time, I loved it. I liked the music <laughs> for some reason. And I tried finding it on. I tried finding it on YouTube, but I couldn't find the actual song. I don't know why, but I liked it. Made me feel depressed, but I liked it. Um. Let's see to the ending. Um, well, actually, before I go to the, before I get to the ending, the beginning. Holy shit! The way I think Loki's officially dead because I know in numerous times he's been killed off in a few movies before. Wow, I think I think Loki's really dead this time because Thanos pretty much snaps. It looked like he snapped Loki's neck. So shit. Um, oh, Red Skull. Holy shit! I knew it. I knew the moment he was uh I know he wasn't dead when he had the when he was when he had the tesseract it I knew it, I knew it didn't kill him it just beamed him up to another planet or something so and I guess it, I guess he explained that he was cursed so okay and, and you know I I knew he wasn't dead so that made me happy I'm glad he wasn't killed off uh let's see uh, but it sucks it wasn't played by Hugo Weaving, I believe. I believe I believe this was played by someone else. Because it didn't sound like Hugo. Um, it's, oh, um, Peter Dinglish appearance as the, it was a dwarf, but a really, really tall one. Um, now, keep in mind, I have not seen uh, Thor Ragnarok or Black Panther. So I don't know if uh, Peter Dinglish's character... Uh, shows up in Thor, so if he does, then I, I know I, I need. I've been wanting to watch that Thor movie, so I need to get back on that. I need to get to that, and as well as watching Black Panther. Um, but um, I, I, don't know, I, I was surprised to see it was actually him that playing as a dwarf, but it's cool. I I like this character for some reason. So. Um, I don't really have much to say at this point. I'm just gonna get straight to the ending. Uh, okay, the ending end credits. Uh, I'm not a fan of Captain Marvel. I don't I don't know this character in general. And what makes it worse is the fact that SJW Marvel has only made it worse. So that's why I'm I don't really care about this movie. I mean if. People are seeing it's good, and I'll, I'll, and then if, well, if people are saying it's good, I'll, I'll give it a chance. It's just that, again, I, I, to me, I, in my, and from what I've seen in the comic books before SJW Marvel, uh, to me, Captain Marvel was just there in the background, in there, in, in Avengers comics, so I wasn't really, I didn't really care. Um, but if this movie's good, you know, if, uh, if this movie's good, I'll, I'll give it a chance. But for now, I just don't really care. Um, I did like the, I did like the part where, where Nick Fury, well, Samuel Jackson, when he was trying to message Captain Marvel, he was like, before he's phased, he's like, motherfuck. And I, I, I remember laughing at that. I remember everybody, I think everybody in the crowd was laughing at that. That was pretty funny, though. Um, but then, so I'm, I'm going to assume that in the Captain Marvel movie, everybody's going to be, everybody's going to be still um, being wiped out. Not everybody, but half, you know, Thanos snapped his fingers and, you know, kills half the universe. So I'm going to guess in, in Captain Marvel, uh, there's going to be some people still fading away. So that's that's another that's another it's a guess I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm probably gonna I'm probably I'm gonna check out 
Ant-Man and the Wasp. Because I did like the first one. So I want to check that one out. I want to I see how this will go and how this will tie in with hopefully the second Avengers movie. I'm pretty sure they're probably, they're probably not going to call it Infinity War Part 2. So it's probably not going to be the case. Um, so my prediction... Well, I guess before I end this video, um, before I end this video, okay, before this ended, there's a prediction I wanted to make. Uh, so I guess apparently now the only characters it seems that could, that could fight fight and probably defeat Thanos is probably uh, Iron Man, Captain America, because we've seen how those two went. Well, kept Iron Man being able to almost beat. Thanos, not entirely, but you know he was able to throw in some punches. Steve, uh, Captain America being able to hold back Thanos. Thor, you know, again, like, you know, Thanos had the six in Infinity Stone stones. It doesn't make sense, but if you want to go that way, fine. And I'm already hearing Captain Marvel, Marvel is to be capable of doing that, as being able to defeat Thanos, which I'm like. Ugh. Now, the reason why I'm like the the only reason why I'm like this is because you just uh, Marvel Marvel Studios have just intro introduced their character uh, Adam in the ending of Guardians of the Galaxy two. So I mean, are they gonna put him in there? Are they gonna have him come out and and perhaps fight Thanos himself? Maybe have Thanos. Uh, um, this is this is this is just how I go. Uh, Thanos and well the rest of the Avengers are still alive they're gonna go to Thanos they're gonna fight him and Thanos wipes him all out but I guess in the meanwhile before the th Avengers went to go after um, for the Avengers go at, went to go after Thanos you know you have they have seen that uh, Adam shows up but I get the feeling they're not gonna go with that and I guess they're gonna probably in in and they'll probably put him in Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Personally, I would want Adam to be in this next Avengers movie, but from from what I've seen, probably not. That's probably not going to happen, so. Oh well. And I wish they did it, but I guess they, they I guess they, the writers want to do take it in whole, take it in a different way. Um Yeah, so I, I think that's going to have to do it. I mean, I don't really have much to say. Overall, I love this movie. Favorite MCU film. Probably going to buy it on DVD. Can't wait for the next Avengers movie. And I know there's like only two. I think there's like two so far. That it's just Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel. But uh, I think that's it. You know, I, I wonder if, you know, about the Hulk. I wonder if we will see him you know, in the next Avengers movie, finally he'll just be so upset and he's going to really come out and really try to fight Thanos, but we'll, we'll see. And I will say the deaths really got me surprised, the way how everybody died. Oh, God. Especially Tom Harlan's uh, Spider-Man. Tom Harlan did a pretty good job. Like, I, I didn't tear up, but I got emotional. Like, I felt something for him. I mean, I just I did it for the other characters too. Black Panther just like came out of straight out of nowhere, telling, telling um I think it's his bodyguard. I don't know I don't know the all the characters from Black Panther, but he was raising his hand to her and and he just fade away like oh shit like that was just out of nowhere. Um, Bucky like oh shit like seeing him and you're seeing Falcon. Um oh another death Vision. Vision, oh my god, I knew it. I knew from after seeing the Avengers, Age of Ultron. Maybe even be even before they announced Infinity War, I knew Thanos, or I knew Vision was going to die just like that because I knew Thanos was going to be the one to rip off that uh, stone off Vision's head. So I'm glad, I, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. And... And I was kind of glad that Thanos was the one to do it. I was worried that, that one of his uh, minions, I, I call them minions or henchmen, were going to do it. And I didn't want them to do it. I wanted Thanos to do it. And 
and I was grateful that he did. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, gra I'm grateful that Thanos actually won in this movie. I'm, I'm grateful that he did, but because I think to me it builds his character builds up more of a threat, the kind of threat he is. At least to me, I, I don't. I'm not good at story wise, but that's that's. I just get. I just give him my best on how to explain it. Um. Yeah. That, so. I, I'm pretty excited for the next one. Well, I wouldn't say the next one. I'm not going to say excited, but I'm really. I'm curious how they'll go with this. I'm very curious. Because I know all these. Because I know all these Avengers that died. They're gonna come back in the next one, probably like in, probably in the second half of the film, probably, and we'll probably get that comic book where all the characters are gonna probably fight Thanos or something. But we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I don't believe the writers saying that the deaths are permanent. I don't believe that. They're probably just saying that to keep us down and I don't want to say keep us down, but to just keep us thinking like, oh, that's like that's it. But but then yeah, you got these sequels coming out. After after the Avengers movie. So that's gonna do it and overall love the movie. Um favorite MCU film. Probably buy on DVD and give this movie a B minus or B in general. So now uh I heard I I looked at some reviews. I looked at some reviews that loved it and some hated it and I can understand. Yeah, that's why I can't give this movie a B. Maybe close to a C, but it's it's mainly a B. So, um, but if you want, if you, but feel free to comment whatever. If you like the film, cool. If you hated it, if you didn't really like it, or you're feeling mixed, kind of explain it. Like, like, go for it. Like, be be honest. Um, I like to hear your thoughts. I like to read your comments and see what, what you didn't or didn't, what you did like or or what you didn't like about the movie. So. Well, that's going to do it, and I know I said I was going to make a video on my Gunpla, on the Venom, in the Venom uh, video, but I wanted to get this video done right away. So, uh, probably my next video, video now will be on the, uh, currently I did the Giro, Giro Zulu and the Doga, and then now I'm doing the Blaze Zaku. Well, I just finished the, the Blaze Zaku, so... Uh, I'll have those, all three, all three of them in one video for the next one. So, anyways, uh, yeah, feel free to comment or whatever, or whatever. So, take care, guys, and let's. Uh, well, can't wait for the next, can't wait for the next Avengers movie. So, take it easy.